Well, if you needed to build a fire outdoors, would you know how to? I don't know if I'd know exactly how to. I've seen it done, never tried it. Emily D. put her winter survival skills to the test in Menasha this morning. Hi, Em. Hey, good morning, everybody. Check out our winter survival camp we have out here at Heckrot Wetland Reserve in Menasha. We're telling you about an event that they're having the 26th of January. Luke Schiller is here with me this morning. Luke, we got a fire going, but the smoke's coming out because it's really chilly here. But we have a shelter that's set up. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this event and what people are going to learn about winter survival skills. Yes, uh, the event will be held uh, on the 26th from 12 to 2. We'll be talking about winter survival skills, so basically shelter building and fire. Those are probably the two most important things you need to remember if you're stranded outside in this element. So this would be like if you're hiking or doing something outdoors this winter? Correct. If you're hiking, if you're snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, hunting, if you were unlucky and were to get hurt and you need to stay warm, um, obviously a shelter and fire would be the most important thing. So you have already made this shelter, but Correct. tell us um, first and foremost, where would a good spot in the woods be to build? What are you looking for? Yep. As you're surveying the land to try to find a great place to build your shelter, you're looking for down trees, um, Y branches, or kind of gully areas where you know you can kind of build a cove or a place that's kind of out of the wind. And, and right now, how mm -hmm. did you get this started, a base that you really need for it? Yep, the main thing that I looked for was two trees that were fairly good condition. Um, then I took a crossbar and I just basically tied a simple granny knot on both ends and then I started leaning up branches on top of that. And then I looked for pine trees that blocked the wind and then I broke off a couple of the pine boughs to line the floor for warmth. Uh, and this looks really, you know, heavy duty. If someone wasn't able to do something uh, this, mm -hmm. you know, nice, what yep. could they look for? You could look for something as simple as uh, a root ball. As a tree falls over, it picks up the roots and kind of the soil in and around it. And that pretty much gives you 50% of your wall. And then you're only looking to find branches to kind of lean up on it to block the wind. And if you're out on a hike or you're out in the woods, you have a tool that's good yes, to keep yes. handy with you. Tell a, me about this. A great tool. thing to have is your basic multi-tool. You have simple pliers, there's a pocket knife on it. Um, some of them even have um, like a flint or steel, steel where you just need to start rubbing it against a rock or something to look for sparks as well. So Because some of these might not be down in the wilderness, mm -hmm, so you mm -hmm. might need something to help you out. Yes, correct. So this class is going to be on the 26th. You should really come check it out. And coming up, we're going to talk to you about starting a fire, but also to the best way to keep it going. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have more for you coming up. We'll send it back to you for now. Thanks, Emily. Stay warm out there.